This is gonna sound, but I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall. Between third and fourth period, that's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. In high school, <laughs> I, I remember you always looking a little frazzled. Frazzled, yes. Yes, that describes high school me pretty well. Yeah, the, the dog was always eating my homework. I could never keep my shoes on straight. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo. And I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year. Because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. I just always wondered about the kids who didn't. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who looked like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof. Sorry. That's, that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Doesn't the... doesn't the light seem weird? Riley. Jacob? Where are you? Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? They're tied. Tied? <laughs> it's tied! Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Hello? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone's basically wasting all their time at once. It was a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Hey, uh, hello? Can you hear me? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but not the whole mug like last time. Olivia! Oh, hey. come on! I just want her to learn... And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! No! No! You! How did you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! We really need to... I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have... wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I 
I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. I will. Riley? Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? Another time jump thing? I think she was with our parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know. She seemed sad, desperate a little. Hmm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. We're close to the falls? How close? Uh, close. Another few city blocks. And with the slopes, it might feel like more than a few, but, uh, yeah, we're almost there. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? Good at what? Walking? No, come on, you know what I mean. You're like, uh, athletic, outdoorsy. I trust you to start a fire. Was this, like, part of what you, uh, what, what you did in the military? This sort of thing? Was this, like, part of your training? Uh, no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He'd teach me basic survival tricks. How to make fire from ice, crap like that. He was just kind of one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a, if you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Of, of course, I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 you're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. Hey, you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Jacob, quick, go get him. Go get him? What the? I'm trying. He has something. Are you serious? Open up. What is this? Open the gate. Hey, you, lady. You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, are you or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Oh, will you just shut up, dude? Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. Maybe we get you out of trouble too? Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. 
None of us need you. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh yeah? Why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. It's okay. We'll get them next time. There has to be another way. Ah, it's just mm, so annoying. And if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread, what's... Oh, yeah, uh, that. It's, um... <sighs> this is incredibly dumb, but... Two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, thank God I'm not in high school now. But whatever. Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station, so you're welcome. Looks empty, but maybe there's a phone. Maybe. I just hope the ranger's there. Well, I'll cross my fingers if you cross yours. But that might cancel out. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like... like parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. Anybody around? Hello? Ranger! Are you... Uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. Ah, uh, maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point. You know? No, we don't know when they left. This... we could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That guy... God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. I'm calling 911. Just give me a sec. Okay. Um, hello? I don't think anyone's there. Uh, okay, well, we can try redialing the last received number. Maybe it's just 911 that's not, you know, working. But that might be a dead end, too. I don't know. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? We're not set up for assisted speech. If... You're... You're a park ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station, and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell her what's going on. Fires have, started. have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's, it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up. But... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Uh, Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. 
So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. You see, we're not crazy. Or you are, and so am I. But we'll cross that bridge, so to speak. So look, I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome! The numbers are coming back. It looks... so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also... Huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. I'm a little nervous being out here, Evelyn. I'm not gonna lie to you. Over. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You take this job and look at what happens. <laughs> No, sorry, really. This... I, I just don't know what to say. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Oh, uh, Evelyn, I'm sure she's fine. I don't know how far this thing has spread, but... Probably not further than the coast. Where does she live? On the coast. But uh, it should be okay. You're right. I just hope her phone's just dead. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. Hey, Riley. You there? Over. Yeah, Shelly. I'm, I'm here. Perfect. You sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, yeah, actually. Do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. Hey, you do the same. Over and out. Oh, she seems... nice. If you say so. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Hey, when you said your dad took you hiking... Sorry, it just reminded me. How's, uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something? And, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? There a story there, or...? No? The only story is my mom wanted Anna, after some Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines. But she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh... He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you... I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Yeah, Jacob. Frankly, I think he was just happy I was out of his hair. Well, he said he was proud, so... But, you know, you'd obviously know better. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the f effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Sounds harmless, if annoying. I mean, look, they clean up after themselves. It's better than a lot of park visitors, but still. There was this one member, though. She died a few years back. <sighs> Don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More a scary Harry. More scary than... Did she also dance naked? Well, they all dance naked at some point. 
She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog-standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. A long history of naked dancing? Not quite. Parentage wasn't, uh, wasn't always bird-watching, if you read me. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire. And bodies. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Ah!